power. True power requires camouflage. And if you want to don this mask, dance this mask, you must sublimate yourself and your identity. You must, in fact, stand in front of the public and God and obliterate yourself. Hello from Telluride by the Sea in New Hampshire. Here's Telluride, here's the sea, here's how close I am to Maine, but you're not here to listen to me talk about landscapes and nature. You're here to hear me talk about what I did seeing in a dark room staring at a screen for two and a half hours. Do you really expect me to take a walk outside? Inside, safe. Outside is where World War I happened. Anyway, I'm at a film festival, which is an extension of Telluride, which is in Colorado. This is in New Hampshire, and, and only showing a handful of what Telluride is showing. But hey, I got to see Tar early, so it's all worth it. So a while ago, I made a video on my most anticipated movies for the rest of the year. That list is shit now, because Tar was easily my number one most anticipated. It had two spectacular trailers. It was Todd Field coming out of the cave he's been hiding in. It had classical music, and yes, I am a classical music nerd. And it had Kate Blanchett. And I'm happy to say that Tar managed to meet my expectations. This is easily one of my favorites of the year, and I feel like I'm only going to like it more once I see it again. First things first, I gotta mention, this is a very long and slow movie. And I do expect audience members to complain that the movie is too slow and boring, but I personally was never not engaged. This is one of the most engaging movies I've seen all year, and that has to do with Todd Field's immaculate screenplay and Kate Blanchett's spellbinding performance, which I will talk about in a bit. I just want to mention the screenplay first, because my god, this is one of the smartest screenplays I've heard in years. This movie is all dialogue. It's all back and forth between each character, and I know that'll be hit or miss for some people, but for me, what's being spoken about, and how it's being said, never ceased to be interesting to me. Well, I mean, okay, fine, there were a couple moments in the last act that lost me, but everything else that was being said, and how long these scenes go on for, was just mesmerizing to me. Todd Field tackles arrogance, cancel culture, criticism, in a way that's so thought-provoking, it left such an impact on me, and ever since it ended, I haven't been able to stop thinking about it, and that's something Todd Field has always been very good at. I watched his two other movies before watching Tar, and every single one of them is so different from one another, but there's always something there that just sticks with you long after it's over. That's what makes him stand out as a filmmaker in particular. Alright, now time for the obvious. Everything you heard about Kate Blanchett is a total, complete understatement. Oh, she's getting a lot of praise, but this performance goes beyond an Oscar. This is a performance that gives someone a Nobel Prize, which would actually be really funny if that were the case. I, I don't know, I had to pick something beyond Oscar. Alright, I'm joking. The first hour and a half of this movie, I was convinced I was watching the greatest acting performance I have ever seen on screen. I'm not kidding. She's still amazing in the last half, just not as amazing as she is in the first half. From the moment she's introduced and she starts giving one of the many monologues she has in this movie, she just hypnotizes you. Lydia Tarr is a horrible person, but Kate Blanchett not only brings a manipulative charm to her, but she brings so much confidence and fierceness to her. This is someone who always knows exactly what she's talking about, always knows exactly what to say and how to say it to make you agree with her. There's so much subtlety to this performance and this character really, and Kate more than just disappears. She engrosses you. What engrossed me as well was the sound design. Now in the first trailer, the sound design of the orchestra was the first sign that this was a movie to be seen in the theater. And let me tell you, that's just a taste of what they do with the sound design here. 
The sound design is so three-dimensional. When the orchestra blares, it breaks the sound barrier. When there's a knock at Lydia's door, it sounds like it's coming from the theater you're watching the movie in. And what's even more surprising is that for the most part, this is a pretty quiet movie. There's no score. At times the sound design can be very calming, but what I love most about it is that it always knows when to turn the tables on you. And it makes sense with the sound design to calm me down one minute, and then... The next. My only complaint that I really have with this movie is that it is too long. And I know Todd Field's movies are usually very long, but there were a couple points where it just started to feel like a patience test. Also a bit of a nitpick, but Mark Strong has a wig in this movie, and it, he looks goofy as fuck. But overall, yeah, Tar is exactly as good as people are saying. I don't know how the audience is going to take it, but god damn, this was an experience and definitely one of the best of the year. Thank you guys so much for watching here on my socials if you want to connect with me, and please subscribe. I got a lot more movie reviews to do, so look forward to those. And also look forward to the first video in the new series on this channel called My Favorite Albums, which may take a while to complete, but uh, look forward to that whenever it comes out. Also, time to announce that I'll be doing the New York Film Festival again. Look forward to that too. Alright, bye bye